Hello, my friends. Hello. I'm doing a live video. What am I doing a live video on? McDonald's is milk. Uh, <clears throat> today, we got Riley May a milk, my four-year-old daughter. We got her a Happy Meal. And you can get low-fat chocolate milk and a Happy Meal. Or if you just want a milk, if you're, an, if you're an adult. The only two milks that they offered on the menu was the 1% low-fat milk and the low-fat chocolate milk. So, and one thing I did notice about a week ago, and uh, yes, yeah, about a week ago, I got a milk at McDonald's. And obviously, this is called the McDonald's milk jug. You see the McDonald's emblem right there, the double arches. Obviously, if they're out of their brand of milk, this, you know, menu, it says on the back, distributed by McDonald's, but more than likely they don't produce their own milk. But here a while back, they must have been out of their own milk about a week ago. And it was some kind of, I think it maybe a dairy, a local dairy. It was something farms. But a week ago, they didn't have their milk. So I guess if McDonald's runs out of their milk, they, uh, they use whatever local dairy they, you know, close by. But today they had their milk. We got this in a Happy Meal. But if you're an adult, if you're ordering the milk, they only have two milks on the menu here in lovely Kingsport, Tennessee. They have the low-fat 1% milk, and they have the low-fat chocolate milk. And this came in a Happy Meal, and I think these are only like a dollar, dollar ten. I will leave it in the description below. So this review is on the McDonald's milk. So I will try to place my camera down in a good location where I have good lighting. This is a live stream. I've been kind of busy over the last week. That's why I ain't uploaded a lot of videos. But to the, <clears throat> today I went to Virginia. And I don't know if it's a good spot right here. It's not. Today I went to Virginia and I recorded a video. When I left Kingsport, I went up to Gate City and then I went into uh, Duffield, Virginia. But that's for another video. I did record some footage. I'm going to try to place my camera up here on this five gallon bucket and we will do a review on the McDonald's milk. Get me a, it looks pretty good about right here. But I will leave it here until at least I can open the milk and I will get it in better lighting. Well, let's do a taste test. That's the main thing. So the only milks I've seen on their menu that they offer here, at least in Kingsport in East Tennessee, is the low-fat chocolate milk and the 1% milk. And, I, and that's what I drink anyway. If I buy milk, I don't buy whole milk because it's very high in cholesterol. I think, uh, I think an eight-ounce glass of whole milk it has like... 36 gram, uh, milligrams of cholesterol, where if you get like a 2%, I think it only has maybe 7% cholesterol and a 1%, maybe 5 or something like that. Let's look on the back of this one. On this 1% milk, the milk jug from McDonald's, it says 15 milligrams of cholesterol. So whole milk, I think it's got, would be, would have about probably 30 to 60 milligrams of cholesterol, which is high. So even though this is 1%, it still has 15 milligrams of cholesterol, 3.5 uh, grams of fat. And this is, it comes in an eight ounce bottle. So let's shake it up. Let's take the top off of it. I will pick my, when you take the top off, there's an aluminum foil right here. See it? An aluminum foil, we will have to take that off. And then when we get, I will pick the camera up and we will get in better lighting. So let's go ahead and pull the aluminum foil off the top. And that's all I've seen on the menu. I checked the, the entire menu and they just had the two milks, the low-fat chocolate milk and the 1% regular milk. And they call this their milk jug. And on the back it says, distributed by McDonald's Incorporated, Chicago, Illinois, uh, 2021, copyright 2021. Well, let's do a taste test. How does it taste? That's the main thing. Ah, it actually tastes very, very good. This actually tastes better than the milk that's in my refrigerator. I've got 1% of milk in the refrigerator. I've got Prairie Farms in the refrigerator. But this milk jug from McDonald's tastes better than the 1% I have in the fridge. Leave it, I drink 2% or 1% milk. I can drink skim milk, but I prefer 2 or 1%. Leave it in the comments down below. Do you like, what percentage of milk do you like? I've got high cholesterol and high triglycerides, so I try to not, to, of course, you know, do a little, I do food reviews. 
I try not to consume a lot of high cholesterol foods, at least, you know, every day. You might see me do a burger, a review at McDonald's or Burger King or whatever. But a lot of times I drink 2% or 1% milk. And I've been known to drink skim. I actually prefer 2%. It tastes better. And I actually think I, I actually think I like 2% milk better than whole milk anyway. But I, I do drink 2%. And 2% is better than 1%. One, 1% one one is it's just a lighter, thinner milk, but it still has a good flavor. And if you know anything about dairy products, they put what they call non-fat dairy solids in the milk. They mix it in with the milk with water. I have worked on a farm before. They take a bag of powder, which is called non-fat dairy solids. They pour it in with milk and add water. That's how you get 2% and 1% milk. I give this milk on my food rating scale zero to 10. This is very good milk. I'm actually shocked that the McDonald's milk tastes this good. On my food rating scale from zero to 10, we're, we're higher than the number, the better the food product. <clears throat> I give us milk an eight. It's that smooth. It has a great dairy flavor. It has a medium bodied flavor. It's a medium bodied milk. It's not too heavy. You do, really don't only really taste the uh, powder in this milk. Like I said, they mix powder in with 2%, 1%. That's how you get, you know, you reduce the fat in the milk. Cause but to have powder in this, being 1% milk, you do not taste the powder. In most 1% milks, you will taste the non-fat dairy solids, which is the powder. Whole milk, they do, they, do not put, they do not put that powder in the whole milk, but they do in the 2% one. And the low-fat chocolate milk, they use non-fat dairy solids too, which is the powder. This is very good. I give it an eight. I give it an eight. It's that good. I won't give it a 10, but I will give it eight. It's better than actually the name brand milk. Like I said, that, hey Spencer, you prefer whole milk? I like whole milk, but I guess I've drank 2% milk so long that to me this tastes better. Oh man, this is good. Like I said, it says distributed by McDonald's. Back in, I was born in 68 and back in the seventies and eighties, on all the food products, all the food beverages, they would put on the back. It did, you know how like it says on the back of this, distributed by McDonald's. It would also tell the the manufacturing plant, the dairy plant that manufactured this milk. It doesn't say that. I've noticed that on a lot of food products here lately. It doesn't matter if it's a hamburger, orange juice, milk. They'd just say distributed by. Well, distributed means that's the person who's, who drives it in a truck who delivers it, which is distributed. That means, you know, this is passed out and delivered by McDonald's. It doesn't tell you the plant that it comes from. I mean, who, who knows who makes this? Maybe Mayfield out of Athens, Tennessee. I don't know. All it says is distributed by McDonald's, but it does not tell you who produces or manufactures this milk. Back in 20 years ago, they would put that on the, the milk, the beverages, the food products. I've noticed that even, like I said, you can go in the store and buy food products, same thing. It'll tell you who distributes, distributes the food, but it does not. A lot of the food products and the beverages will not tell you who manufactures the product. I'd like to know who produce, who actually produces the milk. You know, what dairy farm does it come from? They no longer put that on the products. I do not like that, but oh well. I guess as long as it tastes good. And it does say on the back. Let me see. Does say on the back. Or I've seen it on on something. Okay, it says this milk comes from cows not treated with artificial growth hormones. So that's a good thing. So it's not treated treated artificial growth hormones. So basically, it's natural. That's good. I give it an eight. Have you have you drank any McDonald's milk lately? And if you have, did you like it? I like it. Like I said, they, didn't, they did not offer 2% or whole milk on their menu. And I will leave this down in the description, uh, how much this milk cost on the, on the McDonald's menu. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone had a wonderful day. Of course, it's nighttime here in lovely Kingsport, Tennessee. And it's after 12, so it's October the 1st, 2021. And I will be uploading the video tomorrow where I drove from 
through Gate City, Virginia, all the way up into Duffield, Virginia. I was going to go to Big Stone Gap, but my little four-year-old daughter got the raising cane. She didn't want to go. Hey, Pop Texas. So I turned around the car and turned around and came, drove back to Kingsport. But uh, I'm behind on a lot of my videos. I've been busy here lately. It's, it's cool outside right now. It feels like a natural air conditioner here in the mountains of East Tennessee. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone's had a wonderful day. Hope everyone has a wonderful night. I'm going to go inside and relax on the couch, watch TV. Uh, I'll upload footage tomorrow and I need to try to get around to seeing some of my friends on YouTube, their channels like Papa Texas, Long Star Rider, a bunch of people, Mark Spencer Reviews. It has to cool down. Is it cool down in Texas too, Papa? I say it probably has. Uh, we've been getting down to around 50. One night we was like 47 degrees. So thanks for watching. I hope everyone's had a wonderful night. Do you like the McDonald's milk? And what I prefer 2% or 1% milk. Leave it down in the description to what percentage of milk do you like. Uh, I like chocolate milk too, but I don't drink it a lot. Please like, comment, subscribe as always. Share my videos. Have a wonderful night. A little top it's go down. It's go down pretty significantly here. We were probably 76 today, but we're supposed to get down, I think, around 50 tonight. And I say within the next week or two, we'll be down in the two to the 40s. You don't drink milk, Papa? My son can't drink milk. He has, he's a, he is milk. He does not tolerate milk. His stomach does it. So he cannot drink milk. Lactose intolerant. I can drink it. Doesn't bother me. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful night. Give me a thumbs up. Leave it in the description below. If you do drink milk, what percentage, what brand of milk do you prefer? When I go into grocery stores here, I buy, it bothers your stomach too, Papa, like my son's. When I go into grocery stores here, I buy Prairie Farms milk. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of Prairie Farms milk. It's a family owned, I think, operated milk, milk production company. They're locally grown. I think most of it comes from up north. The Prairie Farms, like Ohio, Pennsylvania, somewhere in there. But that's what I buy here is Prairie Farms. Also like Mayfield milk, Seal Test. We still get Seal Test out of Asheville, North Carolina. But most time I buy Prairie Farms or I buy, oh, I love tea. I drink unsweet and I drink a half and half, Papa. But uh, here, I, I guess I buy, I buy Prairie Farms and I, dry, I buy Mayfield milk a lot, which comes out of the plant right here in Athens, Tennessee, which is, I don't know, from here, probably 120 miles, 130 from Kingsport, going back towards Chattanooga. I'm not far from, I'm in Northeast Tennessee, not far from Virginia. I'm eight miles from Virginia. I'm probably about, I don't know, 41 miles from North Carolina. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful night, my friends. Give me a thumbs up, leave comments. Tell me about the kind of milk, you, what brand of milk do you like, and what percentage down in the comments. I'd like to know. i like to hear feedback from my viewers, my subscribers, my friends. Have a wonderful night. God bless you. And I will see you all hopefully in the next video.